we need to ask ourselves what necessitated uh, the sacking of the cabinet, if I would put it like that. And uh, the president himself promised, you know the words he used, that is an opportunity for him to constitute our broad-based cabinet free of corruption and many other things. I am disappointed as a person because uh, the cabinet that he fired, he has rehired half of it. And uh, the people he has brought back are the same same people whom people have been crying about. The journalists have been clobbered. Children have been massacred because of polu police brutality. The police were being presided over by one Kithure Kindiki. We acknowledge he is a brilliant man, but bringing him back to the same docket, it's as if the president is telling us that all we have been saying and doing are nonsense. And therefore, he is appreciating that Kithure Kindiki did a good job by presiding over the massacre of the children of Kenyans. My first disappointment is that. The second disappointment is on recycling Aden Bare Duale back to defense. I don't think he has performed very well. And even letting the armed forces loose in the street was his brainchild. So president is endorsing all those things that people think were bad. And that is why I am disappointed. I don't think we have a legislature that we can rely on. History has uh, put it that parliament as uh, it is today, especially the National Assembly, is in the pockets of the president. And therefore, I'm not expecting anything from them. There is going to be no change because Ruto does not believe in change. We are going to see the status quo. And that is what he advocates for. So the firing of the cabinet was hoodwinking people. And I think what the president has done, he has uh, made people to be more angry. And probably he doesn't want people to leave the protests. He is refueling the protests. And even when he is asking who is uh, really funding the Gen Z protest, I think he is the greatest funder by the kind of actions he's taking. I'm not expecting anything good for this country to come out of what the president is about to do now because he has shown us that he's not interested in change. The pressure must be exerted because dictators only listen to pressure. And I think where we have reached now, the president has shown that he's a, a kind of a dictator. And therefore, as I said earlier, that we are not expecting much. Uh, the pressure has to be exerted. Mm. I don't want to speak for Ayla, but people are disappointed by that kind of action because he cannot be the one sanitizing a rotten government all the time. He should have left Ruto to carry his own cross because, after all, the Kenya Kwanza said they don't need Ayla. And the chorus has been, let him not come in. We are not going to give him Nusumukate. Why is he now angling for that Nusumukate? It is a disappointment.